We begin tonight with that prep sports bombshell. The entire football program at Falcon High School has been suspended. District 49 made the announcement this afternoon as the El Paso County Sheriff's Office investigates allegations of sexual misconduct involving one or more players on the team. Cardio News Channel 13 Spencer Soysher is live at Falcon High School tonight where quite a few players and parents are upset at how this is all being handled. Spencer. Barton Heather, there were nearly 20 players and parents out here earlier this afternoon, all of them angry about how this was handled and that the school suspended the entire team and not just the people directly implicated in this investigation. And at this time, it's not even clear who that may be. I'm worried that if your kid is associated with this football team right now and these allegations, even if they're not proved, this is already out there. On Tuesday, all football team activities were suspended here at Falcon High. It comes as the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has revealed it's investigating an allegation of sexual misconduct involving at least one Falcon High School football player. School principal Daryl Bond sent out an email to families Tuesday afternoon writing, quote, the safety of students, families, and staff is non-negotiable. Dr. Bonds went on to say the school couldn't discuss the investigation further. Parents of the players think that's not fair and suspending the entire team paints all their kids as predators. So they're gonna have to deal with that stigma coming out of this, whether they're involved or not. My frustration comes with, they put out something like that saying this is an active investigation. So if you put out something like that and it's an active investigation, why are you even putting it out there? Players are plenty upset too. Senior Damon McDonald telling us COVID already stripped away one season from the Falcons and this punishment is an overreach. And I don't think the whole team should be punished for choices that people made. You know, that's not us as a school or us as individual people. With more than half of the season now in jeopardy, McDonald hopes someone in a position of influence will hear his team's pleas to get back on the field. I hope that they can get stuff figured out and I hope that, you know, Chassa and the school board and the district and everything could, you know, look at our perspective as seniors and and, you know, have some heart and love for us. Many of the parents were particularly frustrated with the way that they were notified via that email. They say the right thing to do would have been to have a meeting between the school administration and with the families of the football team. Reporting live in Falcon, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13.